What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom, 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 boom. What's up? Episode 409. We're going to go over straight leg lifts again because I know I did this on a Knowledge Bomb before, but I'm not sure I talked about one of the main keys of the straight leg lift. So I'm going uh, to get my straps here. This is the only thing I use straps for, by the way. Stop. Danny. Stop. Stop it, Danny. Anyway. Fucking peanut gallery. Yeah. Right, the reason why I use these is with my shoulder all banged up. It, it just basically allowed me to kind of stay on the bar a little bit longer and just really focus on my abs. So don't use them on fucking deadlift. You got to hold on to the fucking bar. All right. Thanks all for right. throwing that in there. Yeah. yeah. Throwing that in yeah. There. Um, so whenever my friends that were really good CrossFitters, cause you know, back when I was at MP, we sponsored a lot of CrossFit guys, Austin Maliolo, uh, James Hobart, some guys are really in studs. Their lower abs were always like super diesel, like super thick. And obviously they're not bodybuilders. So I'm like, what are they doing that's making that development that way? It was the toes to bar. Now bodybuilding toes to bar is real like loopy or whatever. The rebound, I believe, and Danny teaches CrossFit, so I think he agreed, the rebound of the toes to bar makes your lower abs really strong. Correct, Daniel? Mm -hmm. So my version of that for us is this. Not going to the bar, but using, utilizing the rebound to build your lower stomach. So the rebound is, is like instead of like doing this, it's when it hits here to come back up, boom. So it's like you're, as soon as they hit the bottom, you're going right back up. So there's no lag and there's no loss of tightness it's like you're staying tight because as soon as the legs come down, they're automatically coming back up. You're in control on the You're bar. in control in predominantly it's your lower stomach right above like your belly button that is in control, which by the way is a big way to raise your deadlift and squat too, because especially with the explosion off the ground. So instead of going like leg lift, I almost can't even do it this way anymore. It's boom, as soon as it hits, right back up. Bang. So right there, that spot where then you have to reverse the body back into that motion, that's where it just is like drilling, drilling that lower ab cut. So this time around, I kind of hurt myself a little bit doing ab wheels a little while ago. I've done hundreds of them a day for fucking years. But I dedicated myself to this because what I did, what I didn't realize is my, my lifts got pretty shitty and it was because initially because of my shoulder. But the funny thing is I started to realize what is one of the things other than pressing that affected my lower body that I couldn't do because of my shoulder for that period of time. One of them was front squats. I couldn't front rack for a while, I can now. But the main one was I didn't do any hanging leg ab work, none, because I couldn't hang from a bar. So my lower abs got weak and then my fucking lifts went to shit. So this time around, I would say about two months, I would say now, I've been doing 20 straight legs with that rebound, 20 knee ups with that rebound, three sets every day for a couple of months now. And the difference is unbelievable. And what's gonna be great is now, I'm about to add back in. My meet is this weekend, if you're watching this real time. I have a power up to meet on Saturday, so I don't wanna add this other stuff back in right now. As soon as the meet's over, I'm going back to ab wheels and back to weighted crunches and keeping these in. If you thought my shit looked crazy before, let me tell you something. Dedicating to this has definitely helped my lifting and set, we'll call it like a foundational brick level for this current diet phase but there's gonna be a whole nother level. I told the young high school kid in the group, Cam, shout out Cam Hickey, he's pretty ripped up. I said, bro, you come to my house this summer at the pool? You know, he's friends with AG? You better be ready, because when I add these fucking ab rolls back in and weighted crunches, it's a motherfucking wrap. So, anyway, that's a long-winded story of how you need to do the rebounds uh, for your straight leg lifts, episode 409.